Greetings and welcome to the Prime Directive. I'm your host, Jeffrey and my host is always, Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hello. So, Chris, have you heard of Samaru? I have now. <laughs> it's a Michael Shank sci-fi. Mm-hmm. I, I told you not to tell me anything about this movie going into it. Oh, I and I saw Michael Shanks, and I was like, okay, it's going to be great. Well, I, I mean, I think I did talk up this one before, prior. Mm-hmm. Michael Shanks, giant snake, but, uh, you know, very little giant snake. Yeah. Two parts. Yeah. They could only afford so much giant <laughs> snake. Well, I mean, they probably spent a lot of money on that CGI. <laughs> probably did. Uh, it came out in 2003. Yeah. Which I called immediately. Yeah. Like, I think bef before we even saw any people. Was it the special effects? No, it was the music. Oh, okay. It was the music. I was like, this is the early 2000s. <laughs> See this ship? It's uh, it's going to descend onto a planet, but for some reason it crashes. Yep, yeah, for some reason, for to make the plot go. Yeah, uh, that ship was going fast, really fast. That was some sped up ship. Yeah, and yeah. then suddenly it hit the wall, and I'm like, how are they alive? They had inertial dampers. <laughs> Very good inertial dampers. Yeah, like, fine. Nobody had sore neck or anything. Yeah, like. yeah, and just had a little piece of little piece of metal in the shoulder there. Yeah. What are our two characters' names? Jake and Adam. Yeah. Adam being uh, Michael Shanks. I'm sure that mm -hmm. won't come into uh, anything. Mm -hmm. Desert planet? Yep. Boy with dog running around, and so Shanks goes to chase after. Well, here's the barking, so you gotta yeah. go. You gotta check that yeah, out. Yeah, see if it's a good boy. Um, and finds a, a kid, and uh, he's just chasing after his dog. Yeah, the snake heads were coming. Yeah, snake Michael heads. Shanks has dealt with snake heads before. Yeah, yeah. he has. Uh, snakeheads are a group of religious women mm -hmm. that uh, wear armor and crossbows and sometimes guns. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed some of the guns had like those big round barrels and some of them were crossbows and some of them were shotguns and it was just all kind of, I swear some of the crossbows were shooting bullets. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, um, I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised. But as soon as we saw, as, we, as soon as we saw the snakeheads and I was like, oh, I know exactly what kind of movie. This is usually the kind of movie Jeff reviews by himself, but that's all right. <laughs> hey, this was Sci-Fi Channel. There was no nudity in this. There wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just some sexy. Mm -hmm. yeah, they had armor, like very important armor that protects yeah. everything. Yeah, it was the really high level MMO armor. Yeah. Yeah, you could tell. Midriff free, um, no cleavage, so you can breathe. I appreciated the, you know, we, we run into the Serpent Guards the first time and I'm like, okay, yep, that's their combat makeup. They're wearing their combat lashes. Yep, yep, good. <laughs> and the Queen's Guard was my favorite. They're just wearing fucking go-go boots for some reason. Hey, you gotta be stylish. The okay? go-go boot. Like, I couldn't take any of it seriously. Every time I'm watching this, I'm just like the fucking go-go boots, man. <laughs> I was partial to the Queen's Guard. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Shank continues his investigation mm -hmm. and uh, just goes in the front door. Just goes right through the front door. Of this church. Yeah. While they're performing uh, their ceremony of feeding a male to the snake, the giant snake. Mm hmm The high priestess there is just like, feed him. Yeah. Feed him. Yeah. And then uh, the queen, uh, her personal guard. Yeah. Says, that's my little brother, don't kill him. So she beats the shit out of a few of them. Xena style. This was very Xena. Yeah. Um, we did not attempt to make choreography, so we just kind of cut around shots of, of the stick moving. <laughs> Eight. Hey, ahead of its time, where Taken had all those jump cuts constantly, yeah. this yeah, had yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. Right. yeah, how many cuts do you think we would have needed to go over a fence? <laughs> <laughs> I like that the giant snake just kind of hung out there mm -hmm. um, and it's bad CGI-ness, waiting for the decision to be made of who's gonna, and then it's just like, nah, I'm gonna eat that person. Yeah. And that's enough, and then he just went back in his hole. Yeah. Well, I think it was a girl snake. Okay. I think she went back in her hole. Yeah. Well, I mean, females don't kill females. Oh, so, interesting. interesting. That's my shot. Huh. <laughs>
Throw them all in the pit. Stop! You know the law, Texan. Man kills so man can be killed, but not women. Your woman just defiled our holy sacrifice. Shanks just doing commentary from like behind some people and they didn't yeah. even turn around and be like, hey, male! Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of sexism in this. No, you really? Yeah. Like... Wow. Do you think they were making a heavy-handed comment about something and kind of undercutting it by the fact that all the women were reduced to, I have big boobs? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't catch that. No? Okay. <laughs> Love it. I personally enjoyed the sexism in this. <laughs> There was there was some good funny moments. Like they did lean in to shut up the women are talking a couple times yeah. with Michael Shanks and I that that was good. Yeah. Why don't you just go sit over there, sweetie? I had some issues with the minors, because like there was a few of them that were just like really overweight. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, how? All you do is mine all day. Mm -hmm. What are they feeding Dude, you? They should have all been like Chris Hemsworth and just been like big himbo guys. Pretty much. Like, yeah, that fits the vibe we're You're going for here. You're used for mating and mining. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we were just big, dumb, mu sexy muscle men. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been fucking funny. Well, I mean, when, the, when they later blow a, a gate open, Shanks is like, get out. And they're just like, what uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> the queen has to be a rise. I yeah, love it she was she big at that. that. She was good at that. Yeah, everyone's yeah. always rising. Praise the sun. Get out of there! Go! Time up! I command you. Naturally, the uh, the queen is attracted to Shanks. Yeah, standard. Yeah, you said you uh, we would not have been okay with this if uh, that wasn't the story. Okay, <laughs> like, yeah, like, Shanks has crash-landed on a planet, and he's like, hello, I am a spaceman, and I have crash-landed on your matriarchy planet, and if I don't end up banging the queen, then every single sci-fi I have ever seen in my life is wrong, and that's obviously not true. And, like, Star, Star Trek exists in this universe, we know that, because he made a, he made a, I'm a, you know, pilot, not a doctor joke. Yeah. So, like, Shanks knows, he's genre savvy. Yeah. He knows how this is going to end. My women's still made with males. We have to reproduce. That's not what I meant. That's all there is. A little kiss before I had in the gas mines. I didn't save your life to waste it in the mines. This has got to be about 900 years into our future, at least, mm -hmm. because that's when these colonies went to other planets. Apparently there were two wars on Earth. Yeah. Uh, one was eugenics the, wars. Yeah. Yeah. One, and that messed up the DNA, and um, a lot of people can't have kids, mm -hmm. except for Shank, because he's a miracle, and his buddy. Yeah. So their actual mission <laughs> was to come here and get women. Yeah. And well, then, I mean, like get a population of humans, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and and, and start the human race hunt mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. because it's fucked. Yeah. Or rather, it is not. <laughs> yes. An expedition from Earth, men and women, set up a terraforming base here. For 50 years, Antares Starbase sent reports back to our nearest colony on Sirius. And then, all of a sudden, contact stopped. He doesn't tell the Queen that, of course. They're no. just like, hey, uh, readings say your planet's dying. You got two months, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's not the giant snake just rolling around underground, shaking your planet. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool if it was, though. Yeah. There should have been more snake kills. Should have been more snake. Snake was expensive. Yeah, well, I mean, Snake looked terrible, so maybe that's why they kept it back. Like, maybe. What? It's like when you have a bad... It would have looked better on my shitty little CRT TV from 2003, right? Yeah. Like... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember the CGI being good from when I watched it back then. <laughs> this is noticeably shit. Shanks gets shot, mm -hmm. arrow to the leg, poison. Mm -hmm. Very snake like. Yeah. They even call it a snake bite. The queen has antidote in her hair for him. Yeah. There is a burn out place where uh, the original ship crashed and they mm -hmm. had a big generator that went off and mm -hmm. yeah, radiation, but it dissipates mm -hmm. quickly. They didn't even have to say that. It's been 900 years. Yeah. <laughs> Probably fine. Yeah. 
we constantly have to deal with the High Priestess and her political battles with the Queen. I was hoping that this whole movie would just turn into, oh no, there's a constitutional crisis on planet Amazonia or whatever. <laughs> I wanted to see the, the, the sexy litigator lady in her, her battle legal bikini just being like, according to our constitution, our queen has massively overstepped her authority by interfering with matters <laughs> of the church. And then we get this sexy adjudic adjudicator lady with her stupid robe and her stupid... I, I wanted this whole thing to be a courtroom drama. Yeah. I was getting that vibe at the start when they were yelling at each other. Just like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sadly didn't happen. Sadly. When this guy died, I'd say about 900 years ago, his bones were glowing in the dark. We're okay, though, because quantum radiation dissipates real fast. Starbase power reactor was right next to the shuttle bay. You think that ship systems are still going to be functional? Look, spacecraft are designed to withstand extreme cosmic radiation, even micro-asteroids. We'll find a new ship, because they need to get off the planet, Chris. Yeah, I think this is where the movie started dragging a bit. Yeah. Like, I think I, w I was with it up until... Um, Shanks escaped from the uh, from the Serpent Queen lady, yeah. yeah, the Priestess lady, and it sort of dragged. We were just we were just running, and then we were stopping and yelling, and, and we were running, and then we were just stopping and yelling about the same thing again, and we were running, and just nah. You make it sound far more repetitive. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy. Uh, let's see, let's go see the Queen, uh, but she's bathing right now. Yeah. But then he's, they still take him to go see the queen who's taking a shower. I guess they just don't give a shit. Yeah. Like, there's not enough men for you to just give a shit. They're standing there while she's showering. I was a yeah. Like, oh. Also, that's not bathing, that's showering. You're getting clean. Jeez. It's not a bath, but I mean, you need to be technical here. Mm -hmm. it should be uh, sand showers. Oh, yeah. yeah. They had a lot of sand. <laughs> blaster clean at the sand. Like in Gattaca, he went down there to clean himself, get yeah. rid of his DNA. Mm -hmm. he, he deals with the Serpent Queen, she wants to hook up with him because, mm -hmm. you know, he's a man. Well, because he's, he's, a, he's a, yeah, but he's a man who's got like a, a personality. Yeah. He's standing up. He's a. Would you say he's? He's, a, he's like he's a, a real Buck Rogers. Yeah. No, we're Buck Rogering the shit out of this, and he's like actually assertive and stands up for himself and has a cool gun. Yeah, I love his gun. Even though it is the gun was actually great. That was yeah. the best part of this movie. Um, its power level varied wildly. I don't understand why it couldn't blow a hole in the roof of the thatched roof hut. Yeah. The special effect of the shot going, but then you'd have the explosion. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I liked it when the explosion was coming from under. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the first time they fired that, I was like, ooh, that actually looks powerful. Yeah. I, I like that. I was disappointed when he shot the uh, High Priestess at the end. I was just like, she probably yeah. should have exploded. Yeah, she should have. <laughs> find this facility, which is uh, also a starship, but every building inside just looks like a building. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I liked how none of the sets really felt like they came from the same world because they were just rooms that existed. Oh yeah, he like walks into like a, like this mm -hmm. terrible looking building and it's the nice church inside. Yeah, yeah, that was great. It's just like, these are the buildings we have access to. Do they look like they're all from the same culture? No. <laughs> no, is there any, is there any visual elements that are consistent between them? No. Hey, how about those camera zooms? Yep. Action. Oh yeah, the action camera. And I kept thinking about that one parody episode of uh, of Stargate, because, you know, Michael Shanks, but it's the one where they're like, what if it were re rebooted as a bad teen drama? And it was like, whoa, with the same crazy, stupid camera. The goddess, the goddess, the goddess, the goddess, the goddess. Snakeheads show up at the facility. Uh huh. They have a little battle. The queen fights the high priestess. Um, it takes them a while to pull out knives. Yeah, knife fight. And then she gets electrocuted because she goes into the panel. Classic. Yeah. A classic one. But then she just got right back up. Well, she was a little cindered. You could see her hand was a little burnt when she yeah. grabbed another knife and yeah, then yeah. just ran at Shanks, who shot her yeah. from in front of her <laughs> and said, You didn't see that coming. It'd be weird if you didn't. <laughs> Yeah, didn't see that one coming. I don't know about that one-liner, Michael. Maybe try that again. Yeah. 
they get into the ship, they fly off, they go pick up more people, because mm -hmm. you gotta have more people. Gotta have more people, we're repopulating the galaxy. And the weird part to me was like, one of the snakeheads, who's like the high priestess's right arm, brought the dog. Yeah, and she seemed all nice. Yeah, she I guess they're not, they're not so bad, they were just misled in their cult or whatever. Following orders. It's, yeah. like, it's like when they ran in, and they killed all the queen's guards to kidnap Shanks, but they mm -hmm. left the boy alive, which is a witness. Yeah. Well, their orders were to kill the guards, not to kill the other boy. <laughs> yeah, so like, what's he's going to do? He's just a stupid male kid. Yeah, well, if they're, not, if they're not getting orders to do something, they won't do it then. So. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I, tonally, it did seem kind of weird that that was a snakehead lady. Like, it could have just been one of the guards. Yeah. But sure, why not? Yeah. Oh, Doc, I thought I'd never see you again. He was at the ladder to the surfers, barking like crazy. I thought there must be something or someone really special up there, and yeah, we got we got some making out with yeah. uh, Shanks and the Queen. Yeah, that's just like Shanks is probably just improv most of his lines in this. Mm -hmm. And I like how he's just Michael Shanks and everything I've seen him in. You know, I was just happy when he uh, he just wore the the wife beater and he had the like the arms out because mm -hmm. he's got to show off his Stargate arms. Sun's out, guns out. That's Muscles Jackson to you. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Muscles Jackson. Dr. Muscles Jackson, hell yeah. Um, we need to see the Gordy Howe movie he's in, because I've only ever seen him play Michael Shanks. I want to see him be Gordy Howe. I don't know if that's sci-fi enough, Chris. It's not. <laughs> it's not at all. We don't have to review it. I need to see it. All right, we'll arrange that. Uh, final thought here, Chris. Final thoughts. This was trash. I don't watch enough <laughs> trash. Um, I had a good time, and um, this was, I, I thought this was less outright just offensive than Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers kind of pissed me off. <laughs> hey, that first season was like somewhat gold. Yeah, uh, but this was just good old sci-fi trash that you, that's on in the middle of the day on the sci-fi channel in 2003. And... <laughs> What it is. Hey, it left an impression on me 20 years ago. Uh huh. Oh Christ. And I was, I was like, oh yeah, desert planet snake is in shanks and. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was no quake. It kept it not as smutty as I thought it was gonna go. Mm hmm. So yeah, this is a fun watch if you're with friends, possibly drinking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I did think it, it dragged um, in the getting to the getting to the ship section, but outside of that, yeah, good good garbage TV movie. Yeah, sci-fi. Mm -hmm. Well, as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next week.